guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place to be wherever you are on your wealth journey right now. Today I'm going to be talking about the future of cash money after the coronavirus. But before that I will say guys, if you're interested in more videos on personal finance, mindset and wealth creation, do subscribe to my channel for plenty more videos just like this one. I'd also like to say how grateful I am to you all for supporting this channel. On Friday last week, I reached 100 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you so much for all your support, kind words, everything. It's meaning an awful lot, actually, to know that, you know, some of the comments from people have been coming in saying that they've really been helped by the things I've been telling you guys. So that's absolutely awesome. That, that feels really good. And I'm going to continue to do that, hopefully. So uh, plenty more videos still to come. So thank you so much for your support, guys. Sending lots of love and gratitude your way. Also this week I got a new toy. This is my Canon EOS M50 and I'd like to take it out and about. Now I'm looking out of the window and we've got blue sky out there, fluffy clouds, the sun is shining, it's an absolutely glorious day, British summertime at its finest. So how about it? Shall we get out of here for a bit? Come on. See a penny, pick it up, all day long you'll have good luck. See a penny, let it lie, you'll have to want before you die. The idea of the lucky penny has been around for centuries. In fact, some say it dates back to when coins were first introduced. Back then, coins were made out of precious metals like gold and silver. And of course, the more you had, the wealthier you were. And therefore, if you had lots of them, you were considered very lucky. Over the last few years though, cash payments have been in decline. Certainly the rise in online shopping has been a big contributing factor to that. And many, many retailers and shops are now using cashless payment systems. Even churches, when they're open, have cashless ways now of taking your collection during services. An independent study carried out last year by the Access to Cash Review said that cash purchases could drop to as low as 10% for all transactions over the next 15 years. But at the beginning of March this year, rumours started to spread that COVID-19 could be spread by touching cash. And many retailers put in place measures to stop cash payments as quickly as they could where possible. So is this the final death knell then for cash money? And what would you do with the lucky penny? Would you pick it up or would you leave it where it was? And what if it were more than just a penny? My husband found 50 pounds just floating down the street last year, for example. Would you go for that or not? Pop me a comment underneath and let me know what you'd do with it. According to the Bank of England website, there are around 70 billion pounds worth of pound notes in circulation at the moment in the UK, which equates to about a thousand pounds per person. It might seem quite surprising that actually it's twice as much as it was 10 years ago. So people are definitely still using cash money, although the Bank of England website does point out that there are not many people with a thousand pounds stashed away at home. The problem is there are still 2 million people that rely on cash every single day here in the UK. As cashless payment systems have increased over the years, banks have not needed as many staff and many banks and ATMs have closed down, particularly in smaller towns and more rural locations. A week before the outbreak fully hit us here in the UK, new Chancellor Rishi Sunak held his first budget, at which he pledged the introduction of new laws to help protect cash money for the foreseeable future. Now, I personally don't think this is going to change very much, even after the pandemic. Not only because so many people rely on it, but because most of the people that do rely on it fall into vulnerable groups. The elderly, for example, people with no access to the internet, people who are on very low incomes, and people with no bank accounts. So while payments with cash will certainly decline, I do think it will be around for the foreseeable future. In the short term, we might just need to be a little bit more careful about how we handle it. money laundering I have no idea listen you guys have been amazing I hope you've enjoyed coming out and about with me today I will say watch these two videos next of all to help with your wealth journey subscribe to my channel over here if you haven't done so already and thank you so much for watching stay safe guys and I will see you in the next one